वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल गुड ज्ञान मैं हूं गणेश और आज हम बात करेंगे पीवीसी सिमुलेशन में आप ट्रैकर प्लस बाईफेसियल कैसे कंसीडर कर सकते हैं सो लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो यू नीड टू क्लिक इन द पीवीसी वी आइकॉन देन हेयर यू नीड टू गो इन द प्रोजेक्ट डिजाइन बिकॉज वी आर गोइंग टू कंसिडर द ग्रिड कनेक्टेड यूटिलिटी स्केल प्रोजेक्ट सो आई एम सेलेक्टिंग ग्रिड कनेक्टेड सिस्टम हेयर यू नीड टू गिव द नेम सो यू नीड टू क्लिक इन द प्लस साइन हेयर यू कैन गिव द नेम एच एस ए टी विथ बाई फेसियल बिकॉज आई एम गोइंग टू कंसिडर द ट्रैकर एंड बाई फेसियल मॉडल सो आई एम गिविंग दिस नेम you can give any name whatever you want then here you need to give the project name then for the metronome we have two options either you can consider the metronome whatever you have else you can generate the new metronome as well by clicking the plus icon in the plus icon when you enter that will go in the metronome page and from here you can generate the metronome file so here you need to enter detail so i am giving the name hsat with by official i am selecting the country india now this will come automatically so for the reference i am giving latitude 25.36 and latitude i am giving 74.56 altitude just for reference i am considering 3 to 1 time zone you need to consider 5 now you can import with your name so this is the uh, monthly data so you can see here temperature wind velocity then humidity ghi diffuse radiance so now you need to click in the okay button now you can save so yes save so now meet your name file generated now you need to save the project again this is save now we'll move to the orientation in the orientation you need to select tracking tilt or horizontal single axis north south tracker for the uh, horizontal single axis tracker you need to remember you need to select this option here no need to give axis tilt because we are not going to give any axis tilt in the hsat for the range of motion this is called range of motion as well so here i am going to consider minus 60 to plus 60 range of motion by tracking you can select because in the tracker it's mandatory if you are not going to consider by back tracking it's very difficult to manage undulation by the algorithm so okay now we'll move to the system here you need to select the module in inverter in my case i'm going to select longi module so with longi if we are going to select 455 watt peak module by facial we have so in the by facial you can consider this tracker design here again all the parameter will come automatically so pitch you can consider 5 meter or 5.5 meter whatever you want width i am considering this 2.4 meter something height i am going to consider 1.8 meter all these numbers you can consider as per your uh, project inputs albedo i am considering 20 per so you can see here ground albedo is coming 20% reflected irradiance on back side so there are two type of trackers available in the market few few trackers torque tube is coming in the middle of module so on that case 
you need to consider higher structure siding factor i mean when you have one p tracker design you need to consider higher structure siding factor and if you don't have any torque tube in the middle of module then in that case maybe you can consider structure siding factor 0 but again it's depending upon the tracker uh, tests and tracker results so i would recommend before simulate this you can uh, ask your tracker supplier to give this structure siding factor set transparent fraction and module mismatch loss factor these three inputs ideally you should get from the tracker supplier so i am giving the general number over here so set transparent fraction i am going to consider 3% ground albedo i am considering 20% structure siding factor i am considering 5% mismatch loss i am considering 10% the next one is the ultimate tracker 2d model here we already put it all the numbers and you need to cross check then you need to click in the ok so bifacial part is over here then you need to consider the inverter so for my exercise i am selecting sun grow inverter so in, in the sun grow they have 3 megawatt inverter so i am considering 3 megawatt inverter over here so I am not going to use MPPT feature because it's a fixed big scale project. So module in series is coming 27 but again this number may vary according to module VOC and site temperature. Then you need to consider number of string. So I am considering 18% DC overloading with 0% overload loss. So now our number of modules are 7803 whatever is area that will reflect here like in my case 16960 here you can see the DC capacity 3.55 megawatt and AC we are considering 3 megawatt then ok now you can select ok now because we have not defined the near setting yet so that's why it's saying first you need to define the near setting then only you are able to consider the bifacial module so let quickly go in the near setting then we'll move over here you can create the tracker pv plane by clicking tracking pv planes so here we are selecting ok now we can create the sliding pattern for, for the tracker so here uh, length i'm going to consider 200 meter width i'm going to consider 2.4 meter and this is called frame I mean what is the module gap between two modules so I am considering 20 mm if you want you can change this as well and this maybe we can consider only 200 numbers and excess tilt no need to give pitch I am considering 5 meter then click in them by modules so here you can see one ported design we have considered number of module is showing 189 but we'll increase this up to 300 so in this case when you adjust then now you can close and we'll see how many total modules are coming 300 by 200 so done now you can click in the here here you can see how little it's divided so if it's not divided as per it is close now it's totally fine now you need to compute 
so for the compute you need to click in the table now you can press the close button okay so now you can see everything is in line in the system also there is no red error by official module we already considered and all the parameters are same here whatever we considered only pitch change earlier we were considered 6 meter but now because in the layout we consider 5 meters so that's why it's updated automatically okay okay now let's move to the detailed losses page in the detailed losses page this page will come here you need to select the free mounted modules with air circulation because in the utility scale projects your module is not covered from the back so you can consider free modules mounted orientation ohmic losses in general you need to restrict your dc loss by 1.5 percent but again it's very it's depend upon your design so in my exercise i am I will make sure my DC loss is less than 1.5%. So I'm considering 1.5. AC loss, you need to restrict up to 1.2%. So I'm considering 1.2%. Transformer loss, in general, you can consider 0.5 iron loss. And 0.5 also, you can consider resistive or inductive loss. After ohmic loss, you need to move to the module quality part. So these all are default numbers, so will not change. We'll keep 3%, 1%, and 0.1%. LID also we will select default. But again, these numbers you can change according to your modules. Soiling loss. Soiling loss is something directly depending upon your cleaning cycle. So in my case, since I'm going to clean the module two times a week, I'm selecting 0.5%. But this number you can select as per your cleaning cycle. If you are not going to use robotic cleaning, maybe you need to consider 2 to 3% soiling loss. IM loss, no need to change anything. You can keep this default. Auxiliary, since we are going to use the tracker, you need to consume some power from your power plant so in this case I am going to consider 0.03 watt per kilowatt but if your tracker is self powered maybe no need to consider uh, any auxiliary consumption but yes some of the components in your uh, uh, PV plant will take power supply from your plant so you need to put uh, the consumption auxiliary consumption over here then we'll move to the unavailability because in tracker we are giving 99% availability so we'll consider 1% unavailability then aging is something you can select uh, because we are going to consider uh, one air PVC so if you want you can use uh, simulation for first year and then you can see 0.2 percent is the individual PV module global degradation factor so this will come but again this you can select as per your convenience then we'll click in the ok so orientation system and detailed losses part is open now self consumption not required storage not required horizon not required near setting we already created our setting pattern before we move to the detailed losses pages so we'll close this we already did this computing but again it's showing so you can do this close okay so now everything is done now you need to run the simulation okay now
now we have to give the name so i am giving the same name whatever we given earlier hsat with bifacia you can save this it's done so here you can see the stump production 7488 megawatt hour per year specific production 2109 is very very good generation number over here because of the tracker in bifacia performance ratio is coming around 82.7% normalized production 5.78 unit you can generate per day per kilowatt peak then array losses 0.87 system losses 0.34% so now if you want to see the report you need to click in the report button here you can see your report is available in the six pages so as per your requirement you can select which page you want to see or not so by clicking the setting button you can select which page do you want to see so this is the pvc here we can see the latitude longitude that is reflecting over here then it's showing Uh, rom then its pitch its number of tracker uh, collector width then again here pitch is showing ground albedo we consider 20% so it's showing 20% then this is the module in inverter detail we consider longi module sun go inverter soiling loss 0.5% we consider so it's showing 0.5% then dc 1.5 so all the losses will reflect over here whatever we consider ac losses will reflect over here so let's move to the next page this is the 3d pattern which we can see uh, created that will reflect over here horizon then this is the important page here you can see the result of produced energy specific production in pr dc capacity ac capacity then this is the graph page it's not very informative so if you don't want no need to print this this is again very important page you can see everything over here so complete loss diagram and generation diagram by this page you will get everything so let's print this i am not printing a special graph so i am just selecting this now save so automatically name will come whatever you have given so save done okay done save close close so this is the pvc report you can see here all five pages came over here okay so thank you so much for watching this video if you have any question feel free to ask if you want some special training of the pvc you reach to me i will try my best to help you thank you so much have a great day